better look away from the train break. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect. Before you play, better button check. Button check. What is up, butt check fam? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful morning, a full week of checking these buttons. Thank you for tuning in. As always, chapters down below. You want to skip around to a certain subject, man? We got a hot ass one today, and that sub button is as hot as ever. Go ahead and click on that. Thank you for helping the channel grow. I appreciate the love. So, without further ado, y'all already know how we do it. Let's check these buttons because it's HD, the most glorious day of the week. Let's go. Let's go by get down real slick, man. I hope the kids ain't around. It's funny. All right, now into the first set of just what the hell is MK11 doing? So I first saw this reported by Event Hubs. Y'all know Event Hubs, right? Profile on the screen or their information, of course, link down below. I believe the author of this article right here is Justin Adaptive Trigger Gordon. So big uh, shout out to Justin. Posted this the other day saying Mortal Kombat 11 update to have ads prompting players to buy Hogwarts Legacy, which fans are not happy about. And then right here, going into a little piece of the article, it says, during a WB earnings call, it was accidentally linked that Mortal Kombat 12 is slated to be released this year. A few months later, NetherRealm Studios dropped their first teaser for Mortal Kombat 12, but it feels like we still know next to nothing about the game. Then you can see down below where it starts talking about they updated it to celebrate, I guess, the 30th anniversary of the Mortal Kombat series. However, the latest update for Mortal Kombat 11 has unexpectedly shifted the situation in a bizarre direction the fans are not too pleased there are reports that hogwarts legacy another wb owned game released back in february of this year is now being advertised within mortal kombat 11. according to i guess the gamer says simply trying to mash through the loading screen of mortal kombat 11 upon booting it up will result in the player accepting a prompt that takes players to hogwarts legacy store page it stands to reason that someone who was booting up their copy of Mortal Kombat 11 are probably more interested in playing Mortal Kombat 11 rather than purchasing a game that's been out for about three months now. And as you can see, the FGC is reacting. So a lot of people are posting their screenshots and I don't see anybody that's pleased, at least not up to this point, right? A lot of people are like, uh, okay, playing Mortal Kombat 11 is running. A full Hogwarts Legacy ad when you log in what the hell is happening? Others say, dog, I'm here to play Mortal Kombat 11. Why are you showing me ads for Hogwarts Legacy? Kale says, really thrilled to launch into Mortal Kombat 11 and see a full screen video advertisement for Hogwarts Legacy. The suits at Warner Brothers Gaming making these decisions should be stoned. I see Cosmic Blessed Eye adding saying, hey, thanks for putting advertisements on other video games in a game that I bought for $120 Canadian. I also own Hogwarts. Get your goddamn commercials off of my game. I already paid you. If you want to advertise, give me the game for free. And wrapping it up right here with these two uh, and just more people that are unhappy customers, right? Saying, dude, Mortal Kombat 11 has gone too far. I'm seeing Hogwarts Legacy ads here. Are you fucking serious? And then, of course, he goes down to say some nice cuss words <laughs> down below. And then Taco Panda Studio says, oh, my God. Hogwarts Legacy ads in Mortal Kombat now shoot. Also, you get you get the point. So there it is. Not sure if uh, NRS will see this and then back up off it, or if they just kind of feel like, yo, we're at the end of MK11. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not put ads just everywhere right now? Because what's the worst that can happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That's kind of how it seems. Not to put words in anybody's mouth or anything like that. But what else are you gonna do? I mean, MK11's on its last wheels right now. I don't think though pissing off the customers, the dedicated fan base to Mortal Kombat is the way to wrap it up though, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how I'm seeing it. How y'all seeing it, let me know. All right, now into the exactly how old is too old for the FGC buttons that need to be checked. So I noticed RG, right? Uh, actually I should say Silverback Senpai posted this the other day. I guess he took it from Our Fighters. Um, asking a simple question, but it seemed to go viral right here, right? Saying, can you be too old for a local? The question says, simple question, I guess. I've been getting back into fighting games recently and have been having a great time. I'm awful, but I have a good time. Super excited for Street Fighter 6. Been playing Strive and older Street Fighter games and getting it back together. Well, I got served up a post from the algorithms about a local 
uh, get together tourney for casuals 40 minutes away from me. I'm tempted, but I'm kind of in the old man territory. One kid moved out, my other about to graduate, married forever. I'm worried I'll be the weird old guy that showed up. I think I'm being a bit silly, but I don't want to muscle in on the younger people hangout spaces. What do you guys think? Have you ever had that weird old guy show up that you wished would leave? Damn, so that's a legitimate question, right? And I'm gonna show some of the reactions on the, you know, from the FTC. A lot of them were very supportive. They were like, yo, we would rather more old people be involved. They're tired of the young drama and whatnot. But a lot of them pointed out some obvious, like a lot of the gamers that grew up in the arcade era are damn near in their 40s, if not already. You know what I'm saying? Like Daigo and everybody else. Like they're either in their mid to late 30s or in their 40s. Hell, the demographics for this channel, for Button Check, is anywhere from, I think it's over 18. I wanna say at least starting at 18, but all the way up until damn near 50. You know what I'm saying? Gamers like myself that grew up in the 80s we're not young bucks anymore, you know what I'm saying? But of course, I think everybody ages different, so some people think that others look older than they are and whatnot, and I can understand that. If you have kids that moved out the house and are in college or graduated high school, you might feel like, I'm not the young buck. Shit, I remember when I went to the first local here, I met Dr. African. Y'all know Dr. African, right? Had him on the channel, helped me with the channel all the time. That dude was shit. He was like 19? 18 when I met him, he didn't look it because he always looked older, you know what I'm saying? He was in college. I met him, he was gaming, you know what I'm saying? He was running sets. I ended up running sets with him. We chopped it up. He was into videos. I was just starting button check, so we clicked. I would hire him, hire him to do editing and whatnot. He's my brother to this day, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, the dude I met him, he was 18. You know what I'm saying? I was already like in my 30s, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know the rest, we're still friends to this day. I, Almost like everybody that I've hung out from the, with the FGC at a local, uh, I've been older than. I don't think that they may have known that at times, but I've definitely been older than most. And there's recent pictures, right, of like older couples and people like, oh, my parents play or my grandparents play. Remember that stuff? And everybody went crazy. People absolutely loved it. You know what I'm saying? I think anytime we see like the older generation playing our games, or I'm not even going to call it our games. It's everybody's games. You know what I'm saying? But anytime we see them running them sets, we go crazy. We love it. So that's what's up. So I would say this. I'm not sure who this gentleman is that wrote this, but if you're out there and you happen to be watching this and checking them buttons today, go. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you love, if that's what your hobby, go and fill it out. Because real talk, every local is not for everybody. Real talk. You might go and you realize, well, the certain people that are here, I don't really click with, or maybe it's not the turnout you expected. And then you have to keep it pushing. Maybe you find one online or something like that. Eventually you'll find your pack. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean you should necessarily give up on locals together or the FGC together. It's just not you're gonna you're not gonna click everywhere, and that's okay, straight up. So anyway, there it is. How y'all feeling? FGC's responding. Is there an age where you could actually be too old to show up to a local? Like at what age? If you guys, if you saw a, a guy in a wheelchair wheeling in with the oxygen tank in his mask and a stick on his lap with a nurse holding his arm, you know what I'm saying, running his blood pressure and shit like that. He said, run them sets. Would y'all be cool? Let me know. <laughs> that was such a stupid, that was such a stupid picture I painted. Anyway, how y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, now into them open beta. That's right, I said it. Street Fighter VI open beta is finally upon us. We've been waiting about it. Some people said it was leaks, it was about to come out. A lot of people didn't believe it was gonna happen because it's what, just a few weeks away? They're gonna do it. So right here, the official Street Fighter Twitter page posted this just yesterday. And Lord knows I wanted to drop a video when this come out, but I wanted to wait, you know what I'm saying, for the HT. Anyway, it says right here, y'all have been asking, play the open beta for Street Fighter VI come May 19th through the 21st. So what's that, about two weeks from now? Experience the content in closed beta test number two. Experience the content from closed beta Test number two, including eight, char eight characters and various ways to play online. So that's cool. They're expanding it. They're not going to give us the whole roster, unfortunately, but that's all good. Like I said, the damn game's about to come out, but they're going to give us eight characters, and I think that's dope. I'm still having fun with the demo myself. And of course, I see FGC reacting. Everybody's hype. I mean, people are just ready to play the whole game. I see True Underdog saying, wish we had access to the new characters too. Let me play Kami, Zangief, and Manon. Wait, am I saying that right? I always say Manon, right? Manon, Manu, it's Mana. It's Manu, Mena, whatever. So there it is, official open beta. People have been predicting it, but I guess 
another question I ask is, do you think it's too late? You know what I'm saying? Because the damn game is literally about to come out like a week or two after this open beta drops. Or do you think they did it on purpose because of the crackers? And of course by crackers, I mean the beta or the closed beta crackers, right? Whole discussion. Obviously, if you've ever seen this channel, you know we've talked about it quite a few times, right? Big deal. Some people calling for bans, you know, people that have been playing it the whole time on the DL. But I wonder if the reason why they waited so long for the open beta is because they were afraid somebody was gonna crack it and they were gonna get even more content out there because of they, what they did with the closed beta. Or maybe this, this was their plan all along, I don't know. Either way, I don't see the FGC complaining much because we're just happy that we finally get this damn game and it's a few weeks away. How y'all feeling? Let me know. And that it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling. And of course, it is HT, so we gotta end it on an HT flavor. But real quick, I wanna give a special shout out to the homie Mace No Ken. I believe, well, let me put the official page on the uh, screen right now of Boss Battle Games, right? I guess this is his other page right here. Voted Indie's Best Arcade Boss Battle Games over 100 games on unlimited play, arcades, consoles, and pinball, all that good stuff. Indianapolis, right? So they got a tournament coming out. Let me get there real quick. This is right here. Welcome to the new era. Register now for the Street Fighter VI launch tournament. It's going down. They got a trailer right here as well. Check it out. A fighter waits their entire lifetime for the chance to test their skills. But when that day comes, will you be ready? Let's find out. Finally, the path of man and beast intersect. So if you truly think you walk the fighter's path, then we await your arrival, warrior. With commentary from Mace No Kin, featuring Trapped in Anime's Joe Godhand, Capcom, GameStop, and Boss Battle Games presents Street Fighter VI Launch Tournament, June 1st, 6 p.m. You already know where to register. Because it's on the in the description, just click the link and you'll get there. See you then. So once again, big shout out to homie Mace No Ken over there at Boss Battle Games, Street Fighter Launch Tournament. Check it out, link down below. Definitely show them the love. We about to show the love right now on that HD tip. All right, so here we go. Cosplay for the day right here comes to us. Profile on the screen by the name of Christina right here at Christina Carrot. Simply says geek, freak, and here we go. She posted this just the other day saying, ready to raid, cosplay, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. So here it is right here. I like how the camera's patterning going down, going up. And she got the guns. She got the guns and she got the, the the yums and the funs and the and the drums. None of that makes sense, but you know, she got the goods. She got the goods is what I'm trying to say. There it is, definitely show her that love, her information down below. Click, sub, follow, all that good stuff. You're welcome. Thank you guys for the amazing love. Please like, subscribe. We will see you soon, not tomorrow, definitely the next day. Love y'all forever, and as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace! Blah, 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 subscribe. Oh, you can. Or do you think they did it on purpose because of the crackers? You know what I'm saying? And no, I'm not talking about white people. <laughs> Get it? It's a race that's racist. Okay, I'll stop. Wait, if, right, if white people are crackers, does that mean I'm a graham cracker? <laughs> Super racist as well? Okay. We're done. We're done. We're good. We're done. Don't, don't cancel me.